All right, people, welcome back. More League. Woo. So, this is Season 1, Week 5, Match 3. What do we have? Oh. No, it's just... Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's like no, 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 no. Oh, fine. Fine, it's 4. Fine. Yeah. We're going in order we, all, in, we recorded them, so we did record... Well, I recorded this one. Well, 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 we haven't recorded post over that one yet. See, 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 you're getting all this freaking background stuff that people shouldn't be knowing about. This is, I mean, this is, this is, this is to four, episode to four, all right? <laughs> sure, yes. All the numbers. Oof. Oh my god. This is episode um, five. This is episode four. Whatever. So, so episode five, we have an extra fucking two sets of things now, down. Yeah, sure, why not? Fucking hell. Go. What do we have? The, uh... I don't live in the ghetto. I don't Cyrus know what that Royd is. With what is the that? Daniel don't live in the ghettos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, probably should get into it. So it's Infernoid versus uh, BA here. The uh, where are you? Where are you two? There you are. The you? No. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the Come Kang on. White Dragons, which is Ryan, who's got Klee, Infernoid, and Constellus, and has four points versus. The uh, Jack Red Archfiends, who has Burning Abyss, Five Fists, and Worms, and also has four points. And this is not a divisional match, so there we are. Okay. So, of course, Ryan wants to win this to stay in the lead, lead of the division, while uh, Stu here wants to win this to go ahead and uh, try to catch up to Omega and take that uh, top spot. Well, Omega's got seven points. I mean, it, and then it's a tough chase. <laughs> so, this is a uh, tier... Two versus tier, tier one. one. Yep. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, have you ever seen? I've never really seen the Infernoid versus BA matchup. I haven't, but I imagine they would go pretty well against each other because BA's float and Infernoids, they're like the Apat Dragon Roller Syndrome where they sort of just keep resources. You know what I mean? From their graveyard. They use their graveyard as another hand. Mm hmm. And doesn't look like uh, too much use out of this great Shogun Shien. Mm. The RN Jesus was not with you. You know, Burning Abyss have not really been known to play many spell cards, so you're not going to get much use out of it, you know, on first turn against BA. No. No, so. And the simple Dante crash, I mean, that's not too much to ask for. Mm. You know, Dante will sort of float well. Of course, uh, the show in GN will not, so, yep, we're going to go ahead and see a crash here. Ouch. And get slapped in the face 800 by that... Is that powerful, powerful Scar? <laughs> gonna go ahead and grab back uh, Graf. It's interesting that uh, Stu decided to summon Scarn instead of uh, Sir. Yeah. Definitely Sir seems like it would have been a better choice. Mm -hmm. You know, for the additional damage and for, you know, just the floatiness of Sir. Yeah, but oh well. Mm hmm. Because. Definitely and one you're not leaving a uh, 800 attack freaking yeah, Scarn. Yeah, 800 attack monster. I mean, I mean, that, I that just pretty screams you get to for Infernoids right in my face. I mean, you get to search through an interface, that's nice, but, you know, Sir, then, if Sir dies, damage. would be able to summon the Dante, and Dante would go back to Sir, and, you know, you'd at least be able to wall up, because right now it is not oh, looking too high. Oh, two, is it three? Are we looking for three? One, a two, a three? Three. Oh, is it Lily? Is it Lily? There oh, he is. It's the Lily. powerful Deviati. Lily. Not Deviati, Lily. I need a new co <laughs> I'm permanently broken. Yeah, you are. You are. You are just broken. Yeah, I am. So Stu's gonna go ahead and chain... My dick? No, Phoenix, Phoenix. Wing Wing Blast, not my dick. Okay. And Phoenix Grieving. Fuck it all. Nope, yep. locked out with the Fuck Seer. You. Alright, and Well that was that was a really weird Stu. Yeah, but at uh, least it, we'll be able Stu, to you're not, uh, it's, it's 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 player turn priority, so you activating both those cards like that's really weird. You should only be activate one and chain the Deviati. You can't chain both of them. So it's summon Deviati, Deviati effect, response, chain, and then uh Ryan gets to respond to your chain. So I'm guessing it's uh, Deviati 1, Phoenix Woman one Blast 2, Seer and... 3, Fiend Grieving 4. I guess. Like, that was really weird that you have both of them. 
That was, but... So, Fiend Grieving, of course, go ahead and return that, uh... What was that? Sedimus or Tondal? Sedimus, I think. Yeah. I get it those two that. mixed up. Yeah, I do, because they... I don't mean to be racist, they look the same. They do. They all look the same. Alright, Fiend Grieving's gonna go ahead and send, and then, uh... That Sura will be summoned outside the chain, so the chain has resolved. And now, Sura will go ahead. No, Graf will go ahead and summon Sura. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, so chat that right on. I don't like doing that in Inferno. I don't think that's very. Eh. You know what I mean? I mean, it, there's it, been it's so great because Raiden, Raiden's one of the best lights ones he can run into that. So, yeah, that's great. Like, woo. Get four mills. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, but. And I can understand the road to see so don't mill it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'd rather just use those three slots on something else. Like I don't stick think they run three. Stick some imaginations in and then just be like, woo, imagination's too real. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> th <laughs> my imagination's too real. I don't think they run three real. I think it's just two, but still, it's a really risky I, I still risky wouldn't draw. like to run. Because you can just, like, fucking mill them. I mean, like I said, I don't know. I just, if I'm going to run a spell card that I would want to activate from hand, I'd rather just want to play something to get me more bang from the butt and just get a ride in from deck if I don't mill them all. If I mill them all, it's fucking useless. Yep. But then you don't want it to be too much of a dead draw when it comes to that uh, ride in. Nope. Like so... I said, I see why people would play, but I just personally wouldn't. Raiden kills the Skarm. Skarm begins its effect during the end phase. What, you clicked the wrong monster? Or... I mean, that would be more damage, but... Too late now? No. Well, I guess it was a misclick. I don't know. It's just... I mean, really? Clicking the wrong monster? I mean... Clicking the wrong control, I understand. The wrong monster. Because everything's right next to each other. Monsters are like g giant fucking things that are spaced out pretty well. That's at least a handful of pixels away. So, sir, go ahead and summon. And it definitely seems like Deviati is not that good against Burning Abyss. Because, I mean, sure, you can go ahead and destroy that back row, but the majority of the time, Burning Abyss back row is very trainable, and now you're literally just clearing up the back row to allow the Burning Abyss to special summon. So, it's not looking too hot right now. Nope, Stu could definitely take this. Mm-hmm. The resources are already dwindling. Yep, so. End phase priority, uh, play turn priority, so it will be random effect chain Skarm, so Skarm, go ahead and grab your third. Oh, you guys can just do that at the same I'm done. <laughs> you guys can just do that at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. <laughs> that is the only kind of priority that is left is play your turn priority. <laughs> <laughs> Party so is too strong. <laughs> Got that tour guide, but Deviati can easily negate that tour guide. So that might not be the best thing. Hopefully, Stu has a couple of Burning Vista special summon to go ahead and drop another Dante. Burning Vista have always kind of had a problem with authority figures. Monsters too strong, and they don't have the backer to handle it. I mean. Pretty much at the goal or bus. You really can't get over anything that's stronger than 3,000. Without the use of back row, of course. No. So, what is Stu going to do? There's Tour Guide. Oh, you made a run. Yeah. I'm broken again. <laughs> Negate? Yep, pretty much. Right? Yep, get that out of here. Bye, tour guide. No more. Days when you were at free and could go tour guide, tour guide, tour guide. Like, nope. Nope. So. Now, let's do. That's it? Hmm. Wow, okay. I really thought there was going to be more to that. I guess Stu's hand must be ass. I mean, Stu's not too much into in too much trouble unless uh, Ryan finds a way to drop in the lights on oh. since there's no way to special summon another. Uh, uh, Infernoid. Infernoid. Why did I say Light Swan? Yeah, just summon, an, uh, summon a Light Swan. You didn't know that Infernoids can do that? <laughs> so unless that's imagination. <laughs> Actually, I believe these decks are made before imagination, I want to say. Hmm. 
Should probably check on that. I don't remember. <laughs> Off the top of mind, I do not remember. Go ahead and grab back that graph. Stu is definitely still in it. Brian Griff's still floating it up. Mm hmm. I still think Burning Abyss pulled off better than Cosmos. I dare you, they're tier one. Tier one matter too good, but Cosmos. Yeah, I wouldn't go to Dark Hole, but simply just banished a block with Seer. I don't get Yu Gi Oh players sometimes at all. I, I seriously don't get them. They say some, they say some weird shit sometimes. Like, Cosmos, oh, Cosmos are tier one, they're better than friggin' Necros. Like, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, people, if Cosmos were in this lake, it would be tier 2. Mm-hmm. Like, no. They're not bad enough to be tier 3, but they're not tier 1. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they might be. If they they get might the be. Stuff. Like I said, maybe, maybe next set. Like I said, for right now, I mean, come on, four monsters and a field spell? Mm -mm. Nope. Is that even a deck? <laughs> Technically, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why Burning Abyss were able to pull it off so early is because they just happened to have cards that had synergy with them. Yeah, they had all cards. All their cards were great at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And they kind of haven't got more really great cards. They got a few good cards, don't get me wrong, but as for that opening thing, like that, and then I, th I think after Good and Evil came out was when their support started to go downhill. Yeah, you know, it was like fantastic, yeah. so, and then it's like, so, eh. you know, yeah, and then eh. as soon as Good and Evil got revealed, and it was like that, and it, then it was just after that, that was like the peak of Burning Abyss's support, and it just sort of went downhill. It's like not that impressive. Yep. Yeah. I'm not saying it's terrible. Some of the stuff they got is still good, but it's all about the original. Just three. not as good as the as the up till that um, ritual spell. One, two. Three? Not the best of the mills today. No, no, two mistakes. Good. I stated before, this deck sometimes has a problem with authority, so... I'm seeing if XD's gonna go on the defensive, I don't know. If I were Stu, it looks like you messed up with summoning that Dante in, in attack mode. If I were you, I'd probably just go ahead and attack into the Deviati. Unless he and, has something like a lamp for it. Chalice? That doesn't even sound like something Burning Abyss would play. <laughs> no, no. You never know. Yeah. But in case Stu messed up, and I would go ahead and take the Dante. Oh! oh. oh. Shit, yeah, it's him. Yep. He's, he's, uh... Okay. Alright, Stu, I see you. I see you. Shaking that ass. Anyway. Not that's at the end of the damage stop. Mm-hmm. The end of the damage stop if it's card battles and that's not so take control of that months until the end of the battle phase. If this phase card and field would be destroyed by a card pack, you can detach material from it instead, so. Is that card in activation? Mm, I don't believe it is. Hang on. Uh so tired. I believe it activates at the end of the damage step. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, it activates. Yeah, it activates, yeah. 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 So Hold on. That's what I always do. I just find it distracting. So there we go. Okay, so it activates, so Deviati will tribute itself to negate and banish the utopic creature, but and Dante's. Thank you, the power of Google. Dante. So floaty. Oh yeah. And then, and then what makes Burning Abyss good? They Dante's, not Dante. Yeah, Dante's. Oh, Dante. 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 Pop, pop, pop. Wait, what? That was last turn. <sighs> so the flowing is real. Like I said. You know, maybe a little bit of Dante to two. Sir, definitely to one. Cause Dante, sir, Dante, sir, Dante, sir. Like, sir, graph, sir, Dante, Dante, sir, sir, Dante, Dante, sir, graph, sir, Dante. It's like the originals, the OGs. Mm-hmm. I see an activation of reasoning. Oh, damn. 
Oh lord, this might be bad. Every time you see something that isn't something that stops this, you just like it just, it's like a, it's like a gnawing pain that intensifies. Yeah, it is. All right, and then little luminanda, and you're gonna get to burn it. Oh my god! Illumina, pitch the card in your hand. Summon I mean, right in, right in, mill two more. And then I guess if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, sink it out. Mm-hmm. So we know that this deck has a problem with authority figure, so I think you might be able to wrap this duel up actually. If you have the particular card in your extra deck that I think you might have. It's a very powerful card that can easily win games. Just go I ahead. am? Yeah. What? Wait, what, what card are you talking about? Wyvern. Wyvern. Yeah, that's it. Not Wyvern. Wyvern. You, I always get them too confused. They look <laughs> the same. I'm sorry, they do. They you look were just the being same. really racist. They do, they all look the same, alright? All the Infernoids look the same, fucking Wyvern and What's-His-Face look the same, they all look the same, they're all the same. There we are, done. And it looks like Stu might get punished here. We're taking the yep. duel too passively. Mm-hmm. The return of Deviati. Yeah, it's not worth the effect. <laughs> and blow up your own back row for no reasons. Go ahead and go Lumina Pitch, summon right in. Mill if you want to, go ahead and go into Wyvern, attack with the Deviati, make the difference even bigger, and then finish the game off with uh, Wyvern. Lum effect, that looks really weird. Lum effect. <laughs> yes. Lums. Like out of, out of Rayman. You ever played a Rayman game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rayman 3 was the test. Not the 3D ones, only the 2D one. Um, oh, Rayman 3 was great, man. I don't remember what system that was on, but... I was on the original Xbox, PS2, and Game Gear. Yeah, it got a 2D ra it got a HD remake. It got a HD remake on the 360 and PS3. That ain't so. game! Stu has something to block. Oh, never mind. Nope, <laughs> nope, that's game. <laughs> Alright, so... Like Jaden, inside. you then that's game! Yep, go ahead inside, come back to game two. Maybe we might see a little bit of that reasoning Jinzo magic again. Although Donkey oh, could just run it over though. When that happened, I was like, oh, that's it. It's still over. Sorry, Omega. Alright, well, they're siding. We'll be right back. Alright, people, we are back. So surprisingly, Inferno is busted out, Stu. It's like, nah, you can't wrap this up. I'm just gonna leave myself open. And, and then freaking, freaking Ryan just went balls deep. Mm mm. What you talking about that balls deep? <laughs> I'm talking about balls deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And there's the Jinzo. There's the Jinzo. <laughs> MVP of the last door. Oh well, not last door. I'm, yeah, I think it was the last time that Ryan used Inferno as it was versus Omega, wasn't it? I believe so. He used Cleese a couple of times. Yep, and then Constellar's the other time. So yeah, I believe this is the second time that we've seen Inferno here on the league. And like I said, it's not the best of matchups, but maybe, maybe Ryan will be able to pull something out. Like I said, it's very difficult to side in this deck. You're always milling, so it's very difficult to put something in your deck to side when you're just going to mill it off the very edge. You clearly saw that. Jinzo went bye-bye. <laughs> not that Jinzo would have been super effective, just because, as we clearly know, uh, Dante can run it over. And then there's that Royal Decree. And there's Royal Decree. <laughs> You know, the crew have been very helpful, but that's hard to decide when you're milling. <laughs> well, Ice Ones always have a hard time siding. Mm. You always want them when you're constantly milling. It's really difficult to side. I think that's, I think that's probably the main reason why Ice Ones haven't, like, been so super duper mega, mega ultra powerful that they've just, like, been wrecked on the ban list. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe before my time they were, but... Yeah. I started in fucking full power Dragon Rules format, so... I went to Worlds with them. <laughs> <laughs> the only Worlds I ever went to. <laughs> now, like, Worlds in Vegas, like, uh, how can I not go? Oh, that number generator, though. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> 
That's, that's a really weird question. <laughs> what question? What? Someone asked me, and it's like, do you still play Yu Gi Oh? Like, nah, no, nah, I'm, just, I'm just sitting here watching for my health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still play Yu Gi Oh? Nah. Nah. I've got all these fucking videos up on my channel of me playing Yu Gi Oh. I don't play Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the guy, do you still play Yu-Gi-Oh? If, any, like, if anything, that person should be asking me that. Like, <laughs> you still play Yu-Gi-Oh? It's like, been a cool uh... minute since you looked at my channel, huh? Yeah, okay. No Whereas me, I haven't, done, I haven't put up a video in, like, what, two weeks on mine? <laughs> I, just haven't, I just either haven't been mm. in the mood to play Yu-Gi-Oh, or when every time I've played, there's been bullshit that's happened. I'm like, oh, I can't put up this match, you know, it's stupid and it's just pointless. Can't put up this match, can't put up this match, can't put up this match. So it's the combination of that and just sometimes not wanting to as well. Because I get bored with Yu-Gi-Oh. No, it's fine in small... Yu-Gi-Oh is a game that's fine in small doses. Dante's still expensive as all hell. Of course he fucking is. One Dante more expensive than oh the entire Oh my god, I remember when he was down to 25 low. Now he's fucking back up. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Christ. Oh god. Oh my god, this man is just messaging the hell out of me. I'm trying to have an actual full-on conversation with you when you're trying to record the video. Uh-huh. <laughs> A recording league! This is important. Then they probably don't even know what league is. <laughs> they, just, oh. they just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna check any more messages, people. No one no one message checking. So Dante smacks you, smacks that bitch, Dante smacks this bitch? Or do you wanna use your effect and then take the twenty five to the face? Is it worth it though? Fucking mess the bat. Sorry, there's a fly buzzing around, like one of them little ones? And it fucking is annoying me because it keeps going around my line of vision. Just my peripheral line of vision. I'm like, I must fucking kill you immediately. Oh, okay. So, I decided to go ahead and just take the 25, and it is not looking good. Oh, my God. Oh, sh Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Pain. That hurts. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. There's a galaxy cycle in the graveyard, isn't there? It's the. I wish I could check the fucking room. I believe there is. I believe there is. Plot twist. He plays a second one. <laughs> and then and then Ryan just like fucking curls up and cries like, no, I'm done. Six. Damn. Sue's like, no, 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 no. No Jinzo for you. No Jinzo. Fuck that sack. <laughs> Fuck that sack. No Jinzo. And we're milling, oh, I mean, and we're as long as that, as long and then there's Jinzo. <laughs> I mean, as long as Knew it. <laughs> got him. <laughs> ha, got him. Oh, okay. ooh. Are you fucked? You yeah. fucked. <laughs> Breakthrough skill. No. Bitch, you better fucking recognize and burn in the best. You but ain't there. getting two points. Nah, <laughs> nah. Still ain't having none of this shit. She galaxy said Cyclone, go! <laughs> yeah, Galaxy Cyclone, go. Watch him flip another one. <laughs> oh, my God. I think at that point, Ryan would have to scoop the door up. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Uh, no. Decided not to use it? I'm could've... sure he had a Galaxy Cyclone. I could have swore I saw one being milled. Are you sure you didn't see, like, a dark hole, you mean? Like, oh. if, if, you, if, if they're going quick, they might look similar. You know what I mean? Hmm. You better hope that's up there, Lumina. What would Lumina do? I'm not sure. <laughs> Lumina would do call. Damn, too bad it's a game. Well, Lumina, well, Lumina could, uh... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Well, Lumina could at least revive the Lila. Okay. <laughs> I said that's still too much pressure. That's it, yeah, people. That was, that was a quick game, too. We're going on to game three for all the marbles. We're right back. All right, people. We are back. Game three for all the marbles. Here we go. Sponsored Reasoning. Sponsored by Pringles. Dare I say that flavor? Go ahead. All right. Sponsored by Pringles. 70-year-old sweaty virgin's cock flavor. Mmm. 17 or 70? 70. 70. 7 Seventy-year-old virgin. Yes, seventeen-year-old virgin man's sweaty dong. 
I, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to you know. You definitely need a new car. <laughs> I don't even want to know. 70. I think, I'm, I think I'm in a state of permanently broken. Get out. <laughs> Leave now. <laughs> Alright, see you later. I'll end the call. I want to hear that door slam. <laughs> You're leaving. No, that didn't even sound like a door. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm going to that fucking door on the other side of my room. I'll just slam my desk and stuff. <laughs> Maybe he'll believe it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of reasoning to call six, but it's actually a level three Lumina. It's not much to do with Lumina without uh, writing it. Even if writing this in hand right now, he can't even go Lumina effect. Because yeah, you need one in the grave first before you can do that. Yeah. Many lights for players on the end tend to forget this. Yep. They're just like, Lumina, per for turn, first turn, Lumina, Pitchless Rider, Summon the Rider back, Rider and Fair, Mill 2, go to Michael. Like, you no. can't do any of that. <laughs> do any of that. <laughs> I didn't like any of that. <laughs> <laughs> and banish one, two. Are you going to harm his dick? No. Banish two, a town to our There you go. Oh. Oh, two. I thought he banished one. Like, Seven. What? And then... Lumina one. <laughs> shall mill three. One. Nope. Oh, it's Infernoid Siesta. Two. Like, terrible. Oh, I guess you got an Infernoid. One but... Infernoid's good. <sighs> like, bet you much rather take that Royal Decree in that... Charge. Maybe that's Royal Decree face down. And oh, Galaxy Cyclone. God. It's so expensive. It is. It's not even as good as MST. <laughs> I'm sorry, I still would rather take MST over Cyclone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Special Cyclone's, Cyclone's definitely a good card, it's number two, but it doesn't be MST. The fact that you can chain MST on an end phase to counter something, oh my god. And tribute. Oh. Fiend. And I'm assuming that there's gonna be some back row to go ahead and take out that set, move that set out of the way. I hope it is, otherwise it's still gonna do. In fact, go ahead and... Banish that, sir. Get out of here. Get out of here. And I'm assuming some back row. Maybe that one back row, same swing glass or something. Hopefully Ryan goes and top decks into another seer. A sir, seer. I think it's sir. Sir, seer, damn you! Sir, sir, seer, beer, beer, clear, peer, something ear. So. Fuck your ear. Wait, what? So my Galaxy Cyclone definitely seems very clutch to go ahead and move that, uh, <laughs> that Seer out of the way. So I'm assuming that one piece of backer is definitely something to go ahead and stop the Sedimus, and at that point the lockdown is too real. What are you doing? I don't... you can't special summon. You can't special summon. Ryan? Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. Right. It even has the same word, vanities. Doesn't not that not trigger nightmares within uh, you? And back row. Definitely. Come definitely. Thank definitely. you. There we go. And um, I think that might be it. That might be the quickest game free ever. That's that, that might be it. That might be it, people. There's nothing in there. Get out of your graveyard. I think sit there to help you. That's it. Why don't you banish a thing, a sir? What? I'm, maybe I'm too tired, but doesn't he have a sir in the graveyard? No, I guess Seer not. only protects from destruction from the graveyard. Oh. See, I don't play him like that. Okay. Now what? So, here comes the BA beatdown. Oh, Mathematician is going to go ahead and stack on the damage, apply even more <laughs> pressure. Oh, oh, yeah. These are you top deck Dark Hall or Gekia, that's it. The mathematician goes and Skarm. Skarm grab that turret guy during the end phase and even more pressure is being applied. Let's do this, this is not looking good. And people are like, oh yeah, Vanity's being that good. Like, what? Have you seen what Monarchs can do now? Have you seen what Monarchs can do now? I don't want to see Monarchs. Monarchs are gross. I don't like that deck. Monarchs? Monarchs can beat the fuck out of you now. They always could beat the fuck out of me. No, but I mean with their real cards, they can beat the fuck out of you. They're just turning and then they can play their field spell, and then they can play their skill drain, and then they can play I know, their they just turn like, disgusting. Oh! Like, no. 
Oh. Yeah, like I said, you need to get that hold of that regeki. Even, even then, you're still going up against tour guides and stuff like that. There's yeah. still resources. Still in that pickle. Uh, did he top deck it? Pickle. If you didn't top deck it, then that's gonna be it. Yep. Oh, wow. <sighs> see. And once again, Stu gets the side. Always with the side, Stu. Always. Well, to be fair, Ryan's deck doesn't help when you're off the side. You know what I mean? It's more, you know, it's like saying it's in the same boat as light forms. It's really difficult to side with because you most likely going to mill your side cards. Um, you're both luck. I mean... Yeah. I mean... I mean with Dante's, he, he, with how strong Dante mills, I definitely qualify Burning Abyss as more closer to luck than constant plays. I think mm, much more yeah. consistent plays out of other decks. Yeah. Shit. Constant, at least a decently constant play is not as much as the luck that you can draw. It'd be like... Cleese can search their cards, so that's a constant place. Tower Knights, to an extent, you know, Necros besides the back row. Thing. Yeah, Necros. Richer Beast, but Burning Abyss? Like, no. no. You know, Stu just gets lucky with the opening hand to go ahead and open up with the side cards to that beat you. Too strange. Because they can clearly see Stu was milling the mills for real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, too bad you used Burning Abyss lastly. Too bad that he got two weeks in a row of just difficult opponents. Very good opponents. So I guess the next time, if we see it, that uh, Stu will be facing off against Ryan would be the finale, actually. Since they're not in the same division. So there we go, people. So there is, uh, it wraps up for week five. Because apparently this is also four, match four. I did not know that. So there you go. So I hope yeah. that you guys enjoyed week five. So uh, of course we'll be back next week with week six. Almost done. Week six, week seven, and then the playoffs, people. So And then after that, we're going to wrap up season one. Anyway, yep. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, thank you, uh, Stu and Ryan, for dueling. Their links will be in the description. Go ahead and go to their channels and check out their content. And uh, that's it. That's all I have to everybody to thank. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Stassi, for joining me as always. Yeah, whatever, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hope we'll see you guys next week. I don't know. I think I think. Won't be seeing me next week. I'm done with just a few. <laughs> All right, people. Thanks for watching.